Good evening, and welcome to another one of my segments of A Verse A Day Keeps You Horny All Day. Today I'll be talking about two little verses that deal with love, lust, and women. The first we'll find in Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah raqam 213. So, if the man divorces the woman, she shall not be lawful to him afterwards until she marries another husband. And I'm just going to stop right here and kind of move on to the Arabic section. Now, if you don't speak Arabic, I apologize. Just bear with me one minute, but you'll actually see what I'm trying to do in a second. In the Arabic version, it says, فَإِن طَلَّقَهَا فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ مِنْ بَعْدْ حَتَّى تَنْكَحْ زَوْجًا تَنْكَحْ Tenkah does not mean marry. Tenkah is a very, very bad word in Arabic. Tenkah is just like the modern day word of naka. Let me use my Arabic English dictionary to see what nakaha means in English. Nakaha, verb, sex, ride, <laughs> screw, shag, shaft. Never use shaft, but okay. Um, so, when it got translated to English, they decided to, instead of saying that once a man divorces a woman, she can't get back with him until she f another man, they made it sound nice by saying, until she marries another man. That's Nakaha. The next ayah I'd like to go to is Surat al Tahrim. Ayah Rakam Tnash. Just quick background. Uh, this A right here deals with the virgin birth of the virgin of Jesus Christ or the prophet Isa or actually the, I'm sorry the Immaculate Conception now a lot of people think or actually m many people think that both in Islam and Christianity they believe in the same story of the Immaculate Conception yes the angel Gabriel came to you know the Virgin Mary and blessed her and gave her the blessing and and through the Spirit of God she you know she had Jesus or Isa or whatever you want to call him <clears throat> allow me to read the verse to you and Maryam the daughter of Imran who guarded her chastity so we breathed into her our inspiration and she accepted the truth of the words of the Lord and his books and she was the obedient one nice sounds good let's go and look at the Arabic version وَمَرْيَمْ إِبْنَةَ عَمْرَانَ الَّتِي أَحْصَنَتْ فَرْجَهَا فَنَفَخْنَ فِيهِ how vile is that instead of saying she who guarded her chastity it says she who guarded her <laughs> well let me stop let me tell you what farad, farj means in english as per my dictionary farj means <laughs> vulva or in hebrew khatul put anyway and not, not only did she maintain her <laughs> but then god nafakhna <laughs> fihi then god blew into it <sighs> that that is vile I'm very sorry um, that that is not a nice way to speak about somebody that you say that you revere so highly it, it, you cannot say that God blew in her <laughs> she guarded it that, that is just vile and for those of you that say those words mean something completely different I have a phrase to tell you Biddi and kah farjik. Good night and goodbye.